Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes one and two of Aquaman. Okay, finally, <laughs> I this was a show that I have been dying to watch. Like, there, there's so many shows like that are not even mentioned on my my uh, I can't speak my um my anime list on shows that I want to fucking watch. But like this and um another show are like on my top two. And this show has been one of the shows that I've been wanting to watch for the longest fucking time. But any other time when I wasn't busy, I didn't really have the time to sit down and watch it. It's kind of how, like, when when I first got into JoJo, because everybody kept telling me, Oh, DJ, watch JoJo, watch JoJo. Thank God I never did a reaction on it. But I just, I took the plunge, and I was like, fuck it. I have time. I'm going to watch this damn show. And now, look, I'm a girl who's just fucking... Like, I'm currently rewatching JoJo for, like, the third fucking time, getting ready for part six and such. But this show, I, I don't know much about it and such, but, like, from what I remember, I just remember, like, always being, like, wanting to watch this fucking show. And now, finally, one of my Patreons has requested this. Thank you so much, because, like, oh, I, I think, you know, this would have been on my list forever if I didn't get this requested. But... Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Y'all not pop team epic me, right? Like that. Mm. Are we serious? I am watching the right show, right? Cause seriously, I feel like I'm getting trolled. So. Oh, she pretty. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, my God. Hmm? Don't make me fall in love with this uncle. God damn it. Like, this is only the first episode. I have a feeling that this is going to give me, like, Comic Girls feels? Was that Comic Girls? It's either Comic Girls or Comic Party. Let me look that shit up real quick. I think it's Comic Girls. Yeah, Comic Girls. But I think, um... It might not be, we might get funny moments, but probably like not as much as like Comic Girls because Comic Girls is like funny as fuck. Dreams are reality. Oh. 
Mm-hmm. Me in the mornings. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm going to relate to him so fucking much. No. Oh, my God. Right, same. Right. Because, hell, your girl's thinking about going to school again, so. Are you new karaoke? Sure. Hmm? Oh, you're still here? Oh, that's an invasion of someone's privacy, right, though? Probably money. I mean, it could be you could just ask her. But Taka, once again, you could just ask her. Just get it over with.
But aren't you smart, though? Oh, come on, dog. That might be fun. In a way, it's like a death sentence no matter what. That, and it's a gamble. Oh my god. Yeah, this is going to be that one series where in the end, probably, <laughs> not even the halfway point, probably, I'm going to end up looking at, like, manga scores and everything. Oh, god. Yeah, but okay, here's the thing. Is your uncle still alive? I mean... <laughs> it's more of skill. He still doesn't know what he wants to do. <sighs> exactly. Well, it's better to strive for a dream, you know? Seize the moment. <laughs> no, you're gonna say yeah.
Well, at least it was something better than nothing. And they didn't do as good, of course. <laughs> Taki has his ways. <laughs> She's so pretty. It's simple. No. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Something. She already best girl. Oh my god. She precious. Taka, hmm? <laughs> 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 you can't just, you know, come out and say that. What the fuck did you just say? wedding dress how the fuck <laughs> oh. okay yeah number one Azuki is best girl all three of these characters I love so much, plus her, um, Azuki's friend, I will say, after listening to kind of all four of the main characters of this series, their voices are familiar to me. Like, mm, Azuki, yes, like, honestly, I think I know who she's voiced by, so if she is voiced by her, that's it, done, she's best girl, like, screw <laughs> every other girl who's gonna come into this series, because she's gonna be best girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> queen but you know i i gotta do some research probably either after i'm done watching this episode or the next episode and then ish or i feel like somebody's just gonna go ahead and just tell me this is who's all in the show and everything but for the first episode i really enjoyed it to finally start a series that i really wanted to watch for the longest time is interesting i mean as i said at the beginning when i finally started and finished and caught up with jojo because my first jojo was part four um in 2000 <laughs> 16 and I was like oh let me watch it and then I got addicted to it and your girl binged the hell out of part one two and three and then when part five was airing watched that shit on my own and now everybody's like oh DJ you gonna react to part six and I'm like I don't know yet <laughs> Like, really, I don't really know yet. I'm, I'm kind of thinking of yes, but then at the same time, I'm thinking of no, but, uh. Yeah.
But, okay, both of our tacos, like, okay. He, taco with the glasses, you, you literally fucking look like Lyagami. <laughs> you just bring him back. Oh, God, like, it's 2006 all over again when I first got into fucking Death Note, and you, your girl fell in love with fucking Lyagami, and, and then I was always in middle school, like, yeah, I mean, we were talking about anime and shit, and my friends looked at me like I was fucking nuts, saying, like, yeah, I'm in love with Lyagami, and they was like, bitch, what? Like, no. You know he's a killer, right? And I'm like, and <laughs> your point is... <laughs> But, um, Minotaka, our blue hair Taka, like, I, dead ass, I feel like I'm going to like him a lot and I'm going to see myself in him a lot because even at my age, like, I, even now, and probably either, like, young adults or who are getting out of high school and then possibly going into college, sometimes you don't really honestly know what you want to do and it comes, like, when you start, I want to say... I can't even say, uh, freaking kindergarten. Um, no, okay. When you're in third grade and you are doing nothing but work and you're studying, because this happened to me and I shouldn't have studied and studied and studied, still did, like, fun things in the between, but studied a lot. And then everything, like, your years and your high school years or elementary years or middle school years, they go by so freaking fast to the point when... When I graduated in 2012, like, everything came all at once hella quickly for me not only with that but in, with the situation that I was dealing with my um my grandmother because of course my grandmother was here for my graduation and everything for me but at the same time my grandmother got into a um she had like a stroke I'm not gonna cry do not fucking cry okay <laughs> so um it was hard to be like graduating and be happy and everything but then at the same time I'm also worrying about my sick grandmother who is possibly dying and such so and with the fact is that everything came so quickly I didn't know what I wanted to do even at the age that I am I still kind of don't know what I want to do but um I, well actually no no I actually do know what I want to do I said this like months ago um my goal as of now is to be a Japanese interpreter of course but I think at the time when I was 18 and I was coming out of high school and like I said dealing with coming out of high school and then also dealing with the fact that my grandmother was slowly passing away and there was nothing that I could really do with it it, it was too much and then plus a whole bunch of other things that I was worrying about and other family problems it was too much for one person sometimes and you don't want to be in a job or in a career that someone, you know, chooses for you, as Taka said in this episode, really. And this was kind of almost like the same things that mm, more of my my parents did tell me, but um, my teachers never really did tell me. And so I think almost all of us have had a parent or parents or teachers who say, or even family members who say, you should do this because you like this. And it's like, you don't want to take that because let's say you do take whatever they say, like if, let's say you like animals and stuff and your family member says, oh, hey, okay, you like animals so freaking much. Why don't you go ahead and be a veterinarian and such? So you go to college, you become a veterinarian and ish, you're doing like, you're on this road of becoming it and you are officially in a veterinarian, you're taking care of animals and this is that and the third or, or anything about animals and such but you still feel empty. You're in a dead end job that has no end because you picked a job that or a career that your family or someone told you you should do because of what you like and such. And so I remember my mom and I had like a conversation about that because that almost happened to me um, and such. And my mom kept telling me, don't choose something that someone chooses for you because if you do you're gonna like it at first but so many up to years later you're gonna hate it as someone who's been doing YouTube for literally probably almost now seven years and who has lost her fucking channel like at least what two times it was almost three but it really was two because it was me who ended it before YouTube terminated this channel and I started over with this channel and such and being oh so close to 10k but now we're stuck on 4,800 almost 5,000 
Um, and how far I've come from where the fuck I was in 2016 to where the fuck I am in 2021. It, it's, it's amazing to say that because it's like I take every little thing, every little criticism, even though like now in 2021 I barely will get comments and stuff on people saying things. There's a lot of things that I would like to bring back, like streaming in ish, but there's things going on with my fucking Wi-Fi, even though I kind of got it fixed, and then there's a couple of things I don't want to change and, you know, rearrange my fucking room, but it, it's just, like, I, I like what, I, what I'm currently doing, but I want to take it to the next level, and it's, like, how do I do that, and it's, like, doing research and stuff, so between doing YouTube and wanting to become a Japanese, um, <laughs> interpreter, it is complicated, but at the same time, I love the challenge, and I feel like, these characters are going to get into a lot of challenging moments. I mean, I don't know much about the manga world as someone, because, like, I do I have any of my mangas on my... Yeah, okay. I, I will get one random one. Um, if I can pull it out, because it's, like, everywhere. <laughs> Come on, damn it. <laughs> okay. No particular. So, um, Mermaid Melody, Volume 2. Um, don't know much about the, like, sales-ish and, um, how much, like, uh, people who do mangas get paid. I know, like, very little to none about it, but I think this is gonna really interest me about it. It's almost like, okay, there's just one show, this one other anime, and I think I might have to watch it, or one of y'all can make it a patreon show and then once we finish like pretty cure or one of the other patreon shows i could watch that next or before i watch yona the dawn i could watch it um it's the one anime series that shows um the whole anime itself is voice acting and such and i don't remember the fucking name of it but it's i think cause somebody like a long time ago asked me to watch it and i like I said yes, and then I was super busy, and then I took it out of my mind and forgot about it in ish. But um, I think with this series, once again, it is going to tell me a lot of things that I don't really know about the world of manga and um, the stress levels and everything. Because dealing with people who do go into this series, as you know, Taka said, it is a gamble every single week because if you do get something and it does get popularized, and, you know, people, the companies are asking, like, so fucking much, like, okay, where's this volume, where, I mean, where this chapter, this chapter, this chapter, like, the only one who I can really think of, like, at the moment, who his situation was not the greatest, was, of course, Taito Kubo, because oh, your girl was a Bleach fan, your girl is still a fucking Bleach, Bleach fan, and it's like that, and so, looking at, like, how Bleach was in the beginning, up to its demise, and then looking at Burn the Witch and such you can see kind of the differences between them and same thing when you're comparing like bleach to like naruto one piece um hell my hero demon slayer when that was and it's time promised everland or everything you can see all of that but like i think this is gonna give me a lot more like knowledge about it but yeah i'm honestly really excited to see how in the world this series goes what the hell is gonna be happening next but yeah, I, I'm just ooh, so fucking excited. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay, episode two and three, two, one, go. No, see, no, that sounds like, oh my god, stop it! I'm gonna cry. <laughs> First, you give me best wish at all. And best boy, you know, and then you give me my favorite voice actress in this show, dude. How like honestly, shit. You know, how the fuck are you gonna sleep after literally confessing to her? Like, yeah, after this, <laughs> once everything gets popular, and you know our dreams come true, baby. 
but it's cute. You know what? Honestly, a for effort, and a it's working for you. Just remember, you know, do your best, and you know that that's that big goal. Be like, mm, if we get this. <laughs> But of course, they're gonna do good. <laughs> oh God! Also, kitten, let's just go ahead and talk about this. We're because of course I'm gonna make jokes about this now that I found out who freaking Aikido Seiyu is. Fucking Ayn Sama! What? What the fuck? I don't even sound like it. Uh, but I think like what for shittle I only you know like one show for his say you I think I would have to look again and I'll, I'll look after no oh, I'm like oh, toast I don't wrap Poor baby. What fuck could be here? Oh my god! <laughs> He's like a fucking stalker! Well, yeah, you are right about that. Yeah, you know, like an alias. Please don't rain. I just started this. I still have two other Patreon videos to make before the end of the day. Stop raining, please. Hmm? 
I feel like I'm not gonna like it, USA. Because she is that type of person. Oh. I mean, damn it, Shadow, you can't be thinking about this during a test. Oh, God. Poor baby. <laughs> of course he does. <clears throat> well, yeah, but you know, some people might want to have a really nice, like, you know, perfect attendance record or something, nice record, shit like that. Good education.
But in a way, she is popular. Mm. Right. Have you even told your parents about what you want to do? Because no parent wants to bury their child at like a really young age or even older age. Come on. Oh, of course. That's going to be her reference in the source. You know he's going to do it even if you don't say if you say no to him. I mean, come on, he's a boy. Hell, you know, some girls like us like to rebel too. Hmm. Hmm? 
the box of all your stuff from your uncle? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, looks like your dad's home. And Are they keys? Is it to a studio? Oh. Damn, I mean, y'all even still pay for his apartment? Take them.
You're gonna call him now? <laughs> Grand Sakino answers. Okay, I do like the fact that his dad, his grandfather, really are supporting him on this, on what he, ugh, can't speak again, on what he wants to do. His mom, however, I mean, she a little, of course, because there's always, you know, no matter what, even in series and animes, TV shows, cartoons, whatever, even in real life, you, you usually have one parent who will agree with what you want to do for the rest of your life and then a parent who doesn't. But sometimes it's better to have at least one parent or someone to support you than no one supporting you at all. Because, of course, no matter what you want to do, you need someone else to be your biggest cheerleader besides yourself. You yourself can only do as much as you can, but you still need someone to say, like, hey, I support you in what you want to do. Um with your dreams and everything i think at the same time his mom is very you know not I, I don't, the word's not strict because i think my mom is very much similar like his mom in a way um the big thing is i'm trying to think of the fucking word but i can't think of it she's more concerning and worried but not in a bad way more in a good way and she's not trying to be um, a Debbie Downer and say like no I don't think you should do this and it's like that I think it's just because she cares about him so much and she's like okay so you're gonna go to college and also do this like it's still good for him to have an education but you can still have that and do this at the same time and he also she also wants to say like oh hey do you have like a backup plan just in case this doesn't fail this does fail but, I mean, it, it's sweet. I'm glad that, you know, he's able going to, like, be at his uncle's apartment and start his journey. I think it's going to be a really awesome thing. But, like, oh, God, this is hitting home so fucking much. Like, I, I, oh, God, because I think we've all had the moment in our lives where we've sat down, we told our parents what we wanted to do and such. Like, way before YouTube, like, I wanted to be an actress. I wanted to be in Hollywood because my that was my biggest like fucking dream and such and to be on television and <laughs> funny enough I um when I was in high school I auditioned for Disney at the time made it to the audition and everything um but long story short I think the day I, I was supposed to go on another audition like I went to the first audition on a Saturday, and then my second audition was during the week of, of, of course, like, when I had to go to school. And I think my audition was on a Wednesday, and I, I had typically, like, chorus that day. And I told one of my friends, I was like, hey, if I'm not here, um, by the time, like, lunch is over, and by the time, like, my final class, which was chorus, um is here just tell our teacher I had to go do something I had an audition that day um so <laughs> I'm literally like nervous and excited at the same time to go to this get it over and done with come back go home whatever and such and so I have been waiting I'm at school waiting 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 and I get to my last class and my friend comes up to me and she's like what happened and I looked at her and I said, I was like, I don't know. I was like, I'm not going to know until I got home because my mom didn't call me. My mom didn't come up to my school, which was right down the street from my house and everything, um, to go get me for this audition. So I come home, uh, <laughs> I ask her about it. And in the end, of course, all they wanted was money. They didn't really care about the fact of how good I was, my skills, anything of what I really could do. All they just wanted was money 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 fucking money so <laughs> that day <laughs> your girl cried like for the whole freaking day and then once like I graduated high school and I was still wondering what the fuck I wanted to do with my life and everything um 
um, I think it was around the time, like, what, Pitch Perfect and shit came out? And then Lovely Mother came up to me and she was like, you know what, why don't you just do a YouTube video? And now look. <laughs> and we started doing reactions to Kingdom Hearts and talking about Kingdom Hearts and now I just do fucking anime and, and like, yeah. All the, the little things that have happened in the six or seven years that I've officially done this. It, it's still, once again, it's nuts to say because I think if I would have, like, told myself, like, my younger self of when I was in my early 20s and, like, even, like, 18, 19 and still trying to figure out, like, what the fuck I wanted to do. If I had told her, hey, it, it, you're going to struggle. It's going to be okay. But there's going to be a point in time where you are really going to find out what you ultimately want to do for almost the rest of your life. And still do something as a hobby that you could possibly bring it into as a career and it'll make you really better you're just to also say like yeah your parents are gonna get it your mom isn't gonna get it because even till today my you know parents even like even now when it's like to a point where it's a little kid says oh hey i want to be a youtuber and such like that there are parents out here who say that youtube isn't the best career and such like that and such and even now where i'm like i don't get paid by YouTube, aka also Google, I get paid through Patreon, it's completely different. But my mom always still associates Patreon with YouTube, even with the conversation that we had early this morning and saying, Patreon and YouTube are two different things. Like, da 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 da. Like, I'm, I'm not getting paid by YouTube. Because a situation happened on Monday where she played music in the background and shit happened. And get it, get this, that, and there. But I, I'm really just, at the end of the day, follow your fucking dreams. Don't, it, don't, it doesn't matter, like, who gives a shit. It, it doesn't even matter. Like, if you want to become something, be the best damn person that you want to be forever the fuck you want to do in your career. Don't worry about what your parents, your other, your extended family, your friends, your teachers, anyone. You worry about you. If you truly want to do something that makes you happy and you are like, this is something that I can see myself and, and the one thing is, like, I enjoy this. I Like, even when I start doing my, like, Japanese, and even though, because, like, I know Japanese, but not that much. Um, I don't even consider it, like, work, because I'm always happy to sit and record, even though I gotta make two more videos after this, which is two more hours of this. But I still love it, because it's something that I love and personally enjoy so fucking much. And even when I feel so down and I am tired and I don't feel good, I try to make the best of it and try to be happy for you guys because if I don't feel my best, you guys will see it like dead eyes. I mean, I remember one time when I was streaming and I felt so fucking bad and I was like, I'm going to power through this. I'm going to smile and have fun. But there was one couple of people who saw through that smile and we had a talk on that stream and I think after like because I was I was a little sick and at the same time there were things that were making me upset we talked it out in the stream and in the end by the time we finished the stream I was so much better and I was just like oh like that's just a weight lifted off my shoulders so yeah follow your dreams be just do that like, go to college and, you know, find whatever the fuck you're into. Or even at a young age, and whether you're in middle school or in high school, find whatever you like and pursue it. And be the best damn person that you can be. Don't listen to what anybody else says. If you want to do something, go fucking do it. And just be happy and shit. If you want to do two things, if you want to be like this and something else, go for both of them no matter what. As someone who wants to still be a YouTuber and do like Japanese interpretation and work for a company and you know try to translate from Japanese to English so that I can make a deal with someone for like business and just like that and still be a YouTuber at the same time. Like yeah, be be whatever the fuck you want to be. But yeah, I'm, I'm really glad for Shido and Akito. And I was like, and I cannot wait to see next what the fuck is going to happen with them and the challenges that they're going to have to face. And I'm also ready to see this damn apartment. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of Bakuman. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday. Monday. Wednesday. My bad. I am so sorry. Next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.